No one's ever been blowed up before, but if you pass gas, I'll laugh for a week. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Anymore. We don't even know if it's okay to laugh. We're like, is it politically correct? See, I think funny is funny, period. You're walking outside this casino after this show and someone's in front of you and they trip and fall. <laughs> I say if they get up, go ahead and laugh. The problem is if you wait for that to happen, it could take forever. And if you cause it to happen, that's mean. Don't be mean. Think of ways to crack people up without being mean. I have some ideas. Next time you go to a department store, walk briskly through the front door. Walk all the way to the back like you're on a mission. Go into a changing room and just sit there for a little while, like 40 seconds. Then yell out to the attendant, hey, we're out of toilet paper in here. <laughs> it's not for all of you. Put on a pair of tan pants and a red shirt and go to Target and tell people in the wrong direction where they can find stuff. Back by the shampoo. You ever done that before by mistake? Wore tan and red? <laughs> Someone's gonna ask for help, right? I know it. I'm shopping, wearing tan and red. Behind me, I hear, excuse me, ma'am. I want you to pick a card. I don't care which one it is. It could be any card you like, but I don't want you to take one physically. Look through the card, pick out one that you want to remember and keep it in your head. Did you get one? Yes, did you actually see it? Yes, concentrate on your card. Send it to me. It was a black card. Yeah. Really? Right. <laughs> All right. The black card you're thinking of is a very high numbered card. Yeah. Really? Right. right. I'm good. Okay. The high numbered card you're thinking of is... A spade. Or a club, let me finish. Oh. Yours is a club. <laughs> I'm good. Okay. <laughs> if I get the number right, will you be impressed? It was the 10. No. Or above, above the 10. <laughs> I have absolutely no idea. What was your card? <laughs> King would have been cool though, wouldn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Matter of fact, it'd be really cool if I actually had the king stuck to my head. Ooh. Watch your eyes. Anyone planning on flying in the next six months? I know you're locals, but you gotta leave, right? You gotta leave this place. <laughs> you're gonna fly? I want you to do this. I just flew from JFK to here, five hours and 23 minutes. I'm bored out of my mind thinking this is gonna be crazy. I wanna try something. I wanna tell you what to do. I got on the plane and I said, I read the tag. Hi, Jan. She said, hi. Make sure when you read the tag, it, you read it, because it might be different than Jan. And I walked in, and I said, hey, Jan, I need to take a pill before I leave the tarmac. Could you bring me a glass of water? Uh, you know, just be when you're done. Uh, I'll push the call button to remind you. Now, mind you, I know she's going to do it, right? She's nice. So there I am, seated on the plane, excited, because I know what's going to happen. <laughs> Everyone's real quiet. I reach up to remind her about the water by pushing the call button, but no, that's not all I did. I talked into the speaker. Can I get a glass of water, please? <laughs> now, everyone around me thought I was nuts, but then Jan came down the aisle with my glass of water. And I kid you not, in five hours and 23 minutes, two different people, two different locations of the plane stood up, <laughs> pushed the button. <laughs> Can I get a coffee, please? <laughs> coffee and, water. And, and a water. I would have had three, but the woman across the aisle, she was so cute, she went up to push the button, and her husband